so I'm Paul McWilliams and I'm from AGL Energy Limited. I was asked by the company and, and so I went along uh, be because AGL is a big sponsor uh, of uh, Vinnie's and so last year uh, I came along really having been tapped on the shoulder with low expectations and I have to say uh, I was blown away. It was a real eye-opener. Uh, it was an insight into a part of society that uh, I'm lucky enough in my life not to uh, have to experience or to see day to day and so to get an understanding of how big uh, homelessness is and there was a great buzz around the place so I was very happy to come back uh, for a second time. What I know now compared with last year uh, I turned up thinking homelessness was uh, the middle-aged guy on the park bench in uh, clothes that he probably had been wearing for weeks on end and left realizing actually um, that's the tip of the iceberg, it's the invisible bit uh, under the surface. Uh, the women and the children in particular, who are forced out of their normal homes and are moving from place to place, they don't have a permanent place to stay, and it is a much bigger problem than I had imagined uh, that it was when I started uh, here last year. Uh, uh, I don't think there's an easy answer. I think uh, if there were an easy answer, it would have been fixed. Um, I think partly it's human nature, just uh, the, the, the humankind likes conflict and seems to create conflict in spite of itself even when we live in a first world country. Um, and it's easy if you are in possession of materials to turn a blind eye to those who don't uh, have such a fortunate existence. Uh, it is an unfortunate truism but I think money is a large part of that so I would encourage anybody who feels that their life is fortunate, uh, that they are in a position where they get most of the things that they want and have all of the things that they need to, uh, to get involved in some way, whether it's an event like this or whether it's uh, to dig into their own pockets and make a donation. There's lots of different ways to get involved. Well, our, our business has a five-year strategic partnership with, uh, with Vinnie's and that's important to us because of our customer base. Um, but it is a great way for companies uh, to get involved socially and I think that is the way of the future, that companies should do more because they can do more. Uh, and um, you can be cynical or pragmatic and say, well, it, it's good for the bottom line. Uh, and I think that is true, but it's also good for your employees to know that a company has a conscience and is doing things to, uh, to help a much broader part of the community. Uh, that, that's a difficult question. There's obviously a lot of different opinions. Uh, I think you, a strong economy is a key to allowing the country as a whole to look after those who need to be looked after. Um, but it isn't about uh, just unadulterated capitalism and the, and the greed is good philosophy. I think capitalism needs to be balanced with uh, a good social responsibility. Uh, not socialism, but an awareness of uh, the fact that there are others in the in society who need a helping hand and it's wrong to judge uh, and uh, I think that is a mistake that uh, the current political environment leads to that uh, we get very judgmental. I think uh, I've, I've been fortunate enough to be to a number of parts of the world and I have seen places where there is real poverty uh, and it is a surprise still to see that there's real poverty in Australia. I think for the vast majority of Australians though, um, they're actually surprisingly well off and I think uh, the message for Australians would be to appreciate the fact, to realise the fact that they are as well off uh, and to stop complaining about the little things uh, and uh, to be content with what they've got and maybe to reach out a little bit more to others and lend a hand.